With the Animal Crossing New Horizons Summer Update, you have a chance at meeting Gullivar and receiving some exclusive pirate-themed items to use. Let's find out everything you need to know about him, shall we? How's it going, everyone? It's Abdali here, bringing you guys another awesome Animal Crossing New Horizons Tips and Tricks tutorial video. Today's video is showcasing everything you need to know about Gullivar and his spawns, along with getting every single item from his pirate booty. Yar. It's going to be a great one. Thanks so much for being here. As you guys can see, we're at 785,000 subscribers. Let's get to 800. So make sure that you guys all are subscribed. Yar. Oh my gosh. Have you guys heard of better pirate puns than the ones I'm doing over here? Well, neither have I. Okay. Anyway, thumbs up if you guys appreciate the puns on board. Anyway, while you're at it, take a look at the playlist on screen. We've shown you guys all of the mermaid items. We've shown you guys all of these sea creatures on board and what happens when you collect them all. So give those videos a watch and you'll be all set and ready to go. As usual, we respect your time, so everything is going to be divided up into chapters. The first portion of this entire video will be dedicated to answering every single one of your questions about Gullivar. So stay tuned. After that, we're going to show you guys all 27 exclusive pirate-themed items and how you're going to get them. And at the very end, we'll give you guys an in-house showcase so that you can see what these pirate items look like within your house. It's going to be awesome, so enjoy. As you guys can see over here, we're on version 1.3. Make sure that you guys all update your game by going to the home menu and then clicking on plus on Animal Crossing, going over, over to software update and then via the internet. Once you're at 1.3, you're all good to go for this video. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to head over to Timmy and Tommy's. The prerequisite for Gullivar to join your island as an NPC is going to be whether or not you purchased a horizontal wetsuit or any one of the wetsuits in the game. So head on over to the little shop. You'll see over here that this is available. It's only 3,000 bells. You guys have that money. So purchase it and then you're ready to go. With the new 1.3 update, NPCs or non-villager character spawns have been set to follow a schedule every week starting on Monday. Each weekday can only have one rotating NPC visit. These rotating NPCs include CJ Flick, Red, Gulliver, his original form since launch, Gullivar, the red alternative version of him that's a pirate, Sahara, Leaf, Label, and Kix. Each one of these characters can only visit a maximum of once per week. If a certain character didn't visit in week one, then they're guaranteed to visit in week two. So that means that you're guaranteed to find Gullivar washed up on your shore at least once every two weeks. So now that you know when he spawns, let's take a look at what his encounter entails. You're gonna see him washed up on shore. It's very simple, talk to him like you would normally with regular Gullivar. And then he'll say that he washed up ashore, he'll say some pirate stuff, and he'll say that he lost his communicator. His communicator will be in the water. So all you'll need to do is grab your wetsuit, and jump into the water and you'll be able to find it. Now, on screen over here is going to be exactly what it looks like. You can see the bubbles per second and it doesn't move, so pay attention to that. If you notice that the little shadow underneath there kicks up dust, then you can keep on swimming in order to find it. But that seems like a steady two bubbles per second on that. So anyway, now that you've found the communicator, you're gonna bring that over to Gullivar, and then he's going to say thank you so much, and then what he'll do is he'll mail you a present, one out of the 27 items, within your mail on the next following day. So those of you guys that are traditional players, keep on playing until the next day passes. Those of you guys on custom, feel free to switch the day to the next one. Now, if you guys are traditional players and you're looking to exploit the spawns in order to get these items way quicker and time traveling is not your thing, then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have many different island residents because as soon as you have one Gulliver spawn on the island, feel free to call upon your other residents in order to talk to them and do the quest multiple times. Now, if you guys have a more customized approach, feel free. You can... Fast forward one day, claim your item, and then once you've claimed your item, head on over to system settings, go to the day that he was just at, one day before, and then jump into the game one more time. When you do so, scan your entire shores, and he'll be washed up one more time for you guys to laugh at, and then continue moving on. So that's going to be your fastest ways, and the most efficient ways of collecting all of the items on hand. 
So now that all the basic information has gone out of the way, let's go into more finer questions that some of you guys from the community may have. If you guys didn't already take a look on my main channel page, the community post is right over here. And I said, hey, Animal Crossing fans, we're working on a Gullivar guide, and I wanted to answer any of your questions about him. Feel free to reply with all of your curiosities, and I'll incorporate that in into the video. Now, as you guys can see over here, we got tons of different comments, and a lot of them were already covered in the previous couple moments of this video so don't worry about those but there are some over here that we're going to highlight within the next couple seconds and we'll exactly talk about them there so thanks so much for all of your feedback and let's make this the ultimate guide that it can be victor valdez says is there a way to predict or have an idea of what item he will give you and do some items have a higher chance of being given than any other items as far as the items go it is completely random and you can indeed get doubles so it's a great way of encouraging trading, so find some friends, join the Abdala Nation Discord, and trade away. Next question from Masato Pug. After encountering him, does anything appear in the recycle box in Resident Services? Yeah, ironically enough, he's exactly programmed like regular Gulliver, where after you complete and give him his communicator cell phone, and he goes away the next day, you will indeed find one rusted part within the Resident Services recycle box. Fame Game asks, does saving him count towards the 30 times you need to save Gulliver to get the golden shovel, or is this separated from it? As of right now, I have not done the science of it by having a brand new resident that has no Gulliver interactions find Gullivar 30 times in order to confirm it. So as of right now, I'm going to say no. So if any of you guys can prove me otherwise, let's go ahead and feel free to do so. But my answer is going to be no for that one. Brayden's Gameplay is asks, is there an achievement for helping Gullivar? Because I know they added new achievements and I don't know if they both share the same achievements or both have two different achievements. As of right now, they indeed share the same one, which is called Gulliver's Travails. Now, Gulliver and Gullivar are the same person. They just have a split personality disorder or maybe he's just acting like another person. So yeah, uh, every time you incorporate your Gullivar, this will add to that right over there. So, interesting. Good question. Pokemon Anime Battle asks, You know how if you take the communicator parts and time travel, it becomes rusted parts. What will happen with the items you find for him as a pirate? Ooh, that's a good one. Stay tuned, stay tuned. I got a really, really fun video on that. So now that we learned everything there is to know about Gullivar... Let's take a look at all of the 27 items on board in his entire set. There's a lot of great things and it's going to take a lot of time in order to collect them all. But now we can see a little preview of what they are. And I'm super excited because you can actually interact with them. So let's jump in. The first thing over here is going to be the pirate ship helm. You can see over here that you can kind of spin it one way and then automatically goes the next way if you press it again. And then you can continuously do this if you want, like you're in a raging storm. That looks great. Uh, next up is the pirate ship cannon that actually fires every time you press A on it. Which is great, and it makes a little sound effect too. How awesome is that? I love it. Uh, right over here is the pirate's barrel, pirate ship barrel. I mean, there's really nothing happening with it. It's just a little bit of decoration. And this one is the, uh, the sideways pirate barrel. So it's just on its side versus uh, anything else. So that's kind of great, like that. This over here is going to be the treasure chest, the pirate treasure chest. You can see inside over here that there's a, there's a bracelet, it looks like, a couple necklaces, some pirate coins. You can see a sword inside there. This thing looks really great, so very excited for that. Now, those are the only furniture items available outside of the wallpaper and flooring, which we'll show you in a little bit. But these are going to be the clothing items here. The clothing items look really great, and they come in both male and female items, so I'm excited. The first thing over here, I'll actually just stand right behind it so you can pretend it's on me, is going to be, wow, I can put my head right over here. Uh, that's going to be the pirate treasure robe. So the pirate treasure robe looks really great. It's got a nice big gold chain, love that. The next three colorations are going to be the pirate's sea captain coat. So it's going to be Sea Captain Coat in black, Sea Captain Coat in red, and then Sea Captain Coat in the blue coloration. I like it a lot. Uh, that's what Gullivar gave me not too long ago, so very nice. Uh, next over here is going to be just the generic pirate outfits. Again, they're going to be in black, red, and blue, so you can collect them all. And then if you like the dresses, this is the female uh, pirate's dress right over here. So it looks really great. You can see all the way around it. Amazing. Okay, so let's take a look at accessories here. 
This one is going to be the Pirate Treasure Crown. Now this thing looks really great. In case you're done with the little royal crown, in case you're done with the mermaid tiara, we now have another crown here. So, awesome. Next up is going to be the bandanas. These are going to be each the exact same colorations, black, red, and blue. And this one kind of reminds me of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, where you have like Team Aqua and Team Magma respectively. So I want to see all your pictures of some Pokemon uh, outfits in the game. All right, right over here is going to be the pirate's hat. This one's a generic pirate hat. Very awesome. Uh, right over here is going to be a pirate's beard. Now, I do want to put this on because some of you guys are wondering about, do you have to be a pirate in order to have a beard like that? No. What happens if you're out here in quarantine time? What happens if you're out here in quarantine time and you got yourself a quarantine beard? It doesn't have to be a pirate to have one, but it does look pretty great. So, I, Raymond even thinks so, too. He's like, yo... I don't think you've said hi to me once yet. I don't know who that is. <laughs> so he's going to keep walking. Anyway, I'll keep on with my goatee, but I think it's really cool that that, uh, that thing is right over there. So it gives a couple more facial hair options in the game, which I honestly think there's not too many. So yeah, there's that. Uh, let me actually place that right on board here so that we can have it. Okay, uh, next up is going to be the eye patch. The eye patch looks pretty great. You can use that as an accessory. Interesting. Right over here are pirate's pants. Okay, in case you want the full on set, don't worry, I'll put it on. I'll put on the full on set. And then uh, right over here, we do have the pirate's boots. So very cute. Last but not least, we got the three more items, which is going to be the pirate flooring. I'll show you guys that inside the house. And we'll also show you the pirate rug and the pirate wall inside the house. So here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna jump in. I'm going to just show you an outfit really quick. I think the best thing to wear that kind of suits my fancy is going to be the pirate eye patch with the pirate pants, the pirate boots. I'm going to wear the pirate's crown, and then I'm going to wear the, uh, what is this thing? The treasure robe. Yeah, I'm going to wear all of that. So here we go. Let's wear it. This one's the pirate eye patch. These are the pirate pants. Yar. All right, interesting. These are the pirate boots. Yar. And then right over here, pirate treasure crown. And we also have the pirate treasure robe. Yeah. Okay, so I look like a pirate. Um, yeah, kind of. I don't know if I'm going to rock this crown, though. I think the crown looks kind of lame on me, to be honest. I mean, I could walk the catwalk with it with red and green. Kind of looks like Christmas, to be honest. I would expect even something more, a little bit more gaudy. So I'm going... To, wow, I do like the... I like the skull on the back of this thing. It looks pretty great. I wish this came in different colors. Um, you know what? I think in true pirate spirit, I'm going to wear this one instead. This one's probably your better one. You let me know in the comments which one you, uh, you like the most. But yeah, this is truly your pirate outfit right here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab all these items. We're going to hold on to them in our inventory, and I'm going to bring them over to the customization bench. Now, if you guys watch my mermaid video, you guys know how I feel about customization in the game. So uh, just to dispel any kind of myths or anything like that, you don't need to hold on to customization kits in your inventory in order to take a look at the customizations. So, I had to address that to many different people in the previous episode. That's not how customization works. It's not, no. You don't need customization kits in order to see what they are. You need them in order to customize them. So here we go. Back on the board. Predictions in the comments. Are we going to be upset? Or are we going to get some pretty cool customization options on it? I don't know. Different color wood on the barrels. Maybe some different kind of treasures. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Should you craft something? Yeah, let's go. Oh, gosh. No, I'm sorry. I don't want to craft something. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, we want to customize something. Okay! I, you know what? I'm, I'm not fine with it. But I didn't think that there'd be anything there, right? Because we saw the mermaid stuff. The mermaid stuff had so many customization potential, but they didn't, dude. They just pushed this update out, man. So whatever, whatever, it doesn't bother me. You know what? I'm fine whatever you guys want to settle for mediocrity i'll join you i'll join you i'm done <laughs> anyway um sea captain's coat uh we got what else i'm sorry uh um it was pirate pants uh pirate treasure crown a uh, pirate ship helm we had the cannon the pirate barrel the sideways barrel the pirate chest and then you know i don't expect the dresses or anything to be customizable you can't customize clothing in general but pirate beard what if you can make it a blonde beard right come on now all of you guys that have blonde beards in the real life Pirate bandana. I mean, sure. 
leave the colorations, that's fine. Those are clothing items, but, like, dude, come on now. Anyway. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab all these items. We are going to put them inside my house, and you guys can see a little bit of a showcase of what exactly these items look like. All said and done. Stay tuned. And here we go, ladies and gents, the grand reveal of all the pirate items within your house, showcasing the walls, floorings, and rug, so that you guys can get some design ideas. All right, here we go. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I'm sure you guys can come up with something better, but this looks really good. You guys can see the gold on the bottom. Anyway, here we go. Boom! Big reveal. All right, so what do we have here? This flooring. Ladies and gents, let's talk about this pirate flooring. This is really great. Look, there's a sword over here. There's a couple gold bars all over the place. There's some money all over the floor. There's gems. I love this flooring. And it's wooden, too. Okay, so I have a golden throne over here. Not really part of the set, but I figured it would be great to have as a nice little centerpiece right next to our lucky cat. So as we showed you guys earlier, this is the, the tr little treasure chest. It looks kind of the exact same thing as we had earlier. Maybe a little bit um, a little bit sharper now that it's inside a house. Oh, we got some gold bars that I made. I mean, that's fine. Uh, right over here, this is the fun part. I grabbed like the tourist telescope, <laughs> pretending that we're going to be looking out into the seas. And then we have the helm right over here. So yeah, I'm absolutely going to be turning the helm. How cool is that, right? Okay, so I didn't even show you the other side. So this is going to be the rug. The rug, believe it or not. I wish I could put this rug on the wall. Look at this thing. So this shows uh, a complete brand new island, or at least a set of islands with, uh, you know, starting in this island, moving on over, X marks the spot for treasure. That looks really great. And I decided to make it look a little cooler with a couple different floor lights. So if we turn down the lights, which are exactly as they are right now, we'll see that they are pretty lit up. Now, what I did over here is, was, since I didn't really want to wear any of the pirate outfit right now, and we showed you what it looked like, I felt like it'd be pretty cool to color coordinate them and put them on the wall like so. So, I have them all in one place, and I can kind of grab whatever outfit I want if I'm feeling like a pirate, and uh, I'll be able to head over there. So, the pants, you guys can also see the, uh, the eye patch, the boots, and all the different colorations. Now, right over here is going to be the exact same thing. As we can see, I'm going to show you guys right on this side. If I wanted to wear the beard, I could do so. I've got the uh, the royal robe right on top there and along with the little crown. We've got the lady ladies' outfits over here, which is pretty fun. And then I decided to have like a little battle-ready area. So we've got some of these bomb barrels that are available. And I've got my little worker over here. He's actually firing the cannon at all of the oncoming pirate ships. So that's what he's in charge of. And then, of course, he's got some bomb barrels that he can throw overboard if he really wants to. I trust this guy. He's actually pretty cool. And then, of course, we've got the cancer table from the Zodiac set and then a plate of uh, golden dishes. I think it sets the stage. So here we go. Ladies and gents, that is my take on the entire pirate set. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with all of your pirate stuff. By all means, let me know. Feel free to send me some pictures and or like a little 30-second... I don't know, rotation around your room. I would love to see that. Let's get some pirate ideas, yeah? Let's have a little contest going. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you guys found it very helpful and informative. We did a lot of research on getting all this stuff out there for you, so I would love it if you guys would hit that subscribe button and share the video with a friend so they can be more people on board with getting all these awesome Gulliver items. Thanks for turning on notifications, and of course, all your support is truly appreciated. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.